there's a myth that CBD is a medicine and THC is just for fun, when in fact both are needed. THC is also a valuable and effective medicine. With the exception of Delta 9 THC, phytocannabinoids have a very weak binding action at the CB1 and CB2 receptors. So, THC and CBD work best when they are together along with the many other compounds found in whole plant cannabis. It's called the entourage effect. Another of the chemicals affecting the plant are terpenes. Terpenes are short chain isoprenes that are the building blocks of essential oil in the plants. They're responsible for the fragrance in the strains. Dr. Ethan Russo believes that cannabinoid terpenoid interactions produce a synergy with respect to treatment of pain, inflammation, depression, anxiety, addiction, epilepsy, cancer, fungal and bacterial infections. In other words, terpenes are very important to the medical effect of the plant. Here are some common cannabis terpenes, pinene, linalool, beta caryophylline, and myrcene. Pinene is actually the same terpene found in pine trees. So if your patient is allergic to pine trees, they may want to avoid cannabis that smells piney. Linalool is also found in lavender, so it's thought to have a sedative effect but tests on aromatherapy don't show that this is always the case. Once again, it's inconclusive results. And it seems like the combination of terpenes has more of the medical effect than any individual one. So should you recommend strains to patients? Uh, probably not. Once again, the strain names don't mean anything. And just as with aromatherapy, inconclusive results come from studies on terpenes. So unless you know something specific about a cannabinoid, about a particular strain, lab test results are gonna be more important than the strain names to the patient. So here's an example of where you might wanna recommend a particular strain. The cannabinoid THCV has been shown with some promise as a vasodilator. Therefore, we sometimes suggest that migraine patients who do well on vasodilators, such as Imatrex, Ginkgo, or Feverfew, try a strain known to contain THCV, such as Durban poison.